It's me, Crazy Nippy Mom. Um, yeah. I'm just being nervous. That's nothing new, is it? Anyways, I'm making a video showing how to make this cute, adorable wire wrapped flower and bead ring. My videos are not edited, so I might pause at some points if it's just, you know, takes forever. But hold on. Lord Jesus Christ, what the fuck is going on? Seriously, fucking fuck off, people. Anyways, I made a few in different colors. So I got these glass beads at Michael's. I also got these little flower thingies at Michael's. See? I made a few different types. They're basically all the same style. Um, and stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it. So, I bought this wire. It's called Artistic Wire. Uh, silver plated. 20 gauge at Michael's. So I used a 40% off coupon. Always use coupons. Never buy anything full price at Michael's. And for this ring, 20 gauge, remember I said, I measures off this much plus this much more. So 40 centimeters or 12 or 14, 13 inches or something. So it takes my wire and it does just to make it straighter. I don't have a ring mandrel. Uh, I use a marker because it graduate, graduates up. So um, For my finger, which is like a seven, it's right, right here. Well, it depends on what finger you want to put it on too. If I put it on my ring finger, it's about a seven. The other one's seven and a half probably. So wrap it around your mandrel or whatever the hell you got. Okay, crash your wires over like this at the top and go around the back, but don't let them cross on the back. So your front wire comes up and stays in that place. Your back wire comes up and stays in that place. See what I'm saying? They don't get crossed over at the back. And I like to go around one more time to make the ring stronger. You don't have to, but I do. I, I didn't cut, did I cut my wire? No, I didn't cut it. But that's how much I would have used. Um, oops, I made a boo-boo. <laughs> uh, it puts the beads on first before it wraps it around there. <laughs> oh God almighty. I hope you're not trying to follow this to learn how to do anything. <laughs> you can still put them on now. But I should have put them on before. See what I'm saying? Into the middle one. So I put the, on a flower. And then I put on a bead. Do I have a white one? I don't think I do. I'm going to do a white one. A white bead. They don't like to stay in place anyways. So believe me, even when they're on there, sometimes they might slip around. Like it's like a key ring, right? Yeah, these little flowers, I say they're about three or four, probably four millimeters. And the beads are probably four millimeters. Yep. The beads are four. You can use whatever you like, my dear. You can fucking string up your Jesus hot peppers if you want to. I did put them over my sink. <laughs> it grows me on hot peppers. Sorry, I don't know what to say. I don't like doing tutorials. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Fuck. So, and one more flower. I do five. I mean, I don't always. But I am for to right now. So, now, let's pretend <laughs> that I didn't fuck that up, <laughs> right? 
fuck off. <laughs> if you don't like it, skip along, motherfucker. So, you would take your wire, fold it in half to find out the middle. Put your beads on. Wrap around your marker or mandrel or whatever the hell you got. Try to make sure your beads are spaced a little bit to make it more of a circular, you know, but not tipped up. There. See? Now, now we're going to wrap around. That sounds dirty, wrap around. Anyways, don't cross the wires over. I like to have four strands. See? So there, you see what I'm saying? And then you got your wires there. All right, that part's done. Now it gets tricky here, and I do have a lot of issues. Perhaps other people wouldn't, but I do. Because I got a lot of issues, as you can well tell. What I like to do then is take my wire from this side and push it up like that. Try to stop my beads from falling off. Because do you really want to fall off? Because